So today, we're heading over to Bodega Bay. We're gonna do what we call... I'm calling it <laughs> the Bodega Bay Clam Chowder Clash. Yeah. Pretty much what it is, is we're gonna go to five different restaurants and we're gonna try five different clam chowders. And at the end of this video, we're gonna tell you which one is the best one according to our taste and like it. So yeah, we'll take you guys along with us and yeah, stay tuned. See you at our first stop. First stop, Lucas Wharf Restaurant and Bar. Okay, here we are with our chowder. Trisha, you want to do the honors? <laughs> Take first bite. Mm. It's very creamy, which I like. Um, didn't get the clam though. Um, it has onion in there. I got a crunch of onions. Um, I see some corn, maybe. And the chowder itself has a little yellowish tint. So if that's a sign. It's gonna bite you. It kinda has like a little kick. Is it like pepper? I think it's just pepper. It's good, very creamy, very thick. Not overly clammy. It's good. It's a good. Will I say it's a traditional clam chowder? I don't think so. I will say a nice perk if you come to this place. It is more of a sit-down uh, restaurant. You do get complimentary bread. So you don't have to order the bread bowl. <laughs> exactly. One of my favorite things is bread with my clam chowder. Okay. Stop number two. Fishitarian fish market. Actually, right next door to where we were. Let's give it a go. Okay, vegetarian fish market, clam numero chowder, dos. numero dos. So good. It looks super good. Yeah, <laughs> just from the looks, you got more like color. Color, there's orange from carrot, bright orange, there's some green from uh, green onions. Uh, yeah, do it up. Here we are. It's colder here. Hot. Okay, okay. It's not as creamy, but it's actually it tastes creamier. Hmm. And there's a hint of like um, what is that spice? I don't know. Um, there's a something though. It's cl more clammy too, I think. A little bit more is clammy. It, it's definitely clammier. Saltier. Mm hmm. I would say not as creamy, but it tastes creamier. I don't know. The previous one was more your like standard clam chowder you've probably had before. It was good. This is more different. I'm trying another bite. I think it has that. What is that green? Is it coriander um, leaves or something like that? Could be. I I taste what you're talking about. I don't know what it is. It's like one of the one of the greens that you get from like pho <laughs> when you eat pho it's not cilantro is, is it it's not cilantro it's the other one hmm. it's the curly leaf all right that was chowder number two see you number three hey we are stop number three this boat house gonna eat more chowder
Okay. Chowder number three, Boathouse. Going strong. I'm already full. It's thinner soup, for sure. Yeah, definitely thinner than our previous two. Chowders. Not as creamy. Tastes kind of like chicken noodle soup. Yeah. <laughs> This has more of like uh, less, well, I mean, we've already said it's less cream based, more soupy. I like it though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of reminds me of like uh, a noodle soup or a lighter soup. It tastes like vegetable soup. Which I don't know what I'd go that far. <laughs> it definitely pretty still good. tastes like chat. Sorry, I'm like so stuffy. That's a lot of clams. Yeah, a lot of clam, big, big pieces of clam. Yeah, so this one's, again, different than the previous two, much thinner base, uh, but good. All right, we'll see it stop for. Chowder number four. <laughs> number four. Great minds think alike. Uh, Fisherman's Cove. We're back to creamy, creamy chowders. Not as colorful. Not as colorful, but they did do the decorative parsley on top. Uh, okay. Go ahead, give it. All right. Shot. I'll go first this time. Oh, it's very uh, it light. Smells good. Very light. Like frothy, almost. Mm. That almost has like a some lemon. It's almost got like a cheesiness to it. Mm. I like that. I got a big piece of clam in my bite too. Ooh. I can kind of taste that like very cheesiness. creamy, very cheesy. Yeah, it's it, good. Yeah, the texture is very. How do you describe that? Like airy, airy, very light. Yeah, it's almost like a thing whipped in or something like that. Yeah, it's creamy, but it's not heavy by any means. It's like mm. it's good. It's good. Mm. Isn't that crazy? This is sort of fourth cup of chowder and yeah. we still can say it's good yeah the spoiler this is the best so far <laughs> for sure yeah there's not as big of vegetable chunks in this one as there were everything very is fine very fine except for the clam chunks but the flavor is just so good really good have you ever tried put um tabasco on your chowder if you haven't tried it give it a shot yeah it's much the way you do it for for the purposes of our review here i'm You're refraining we want to <laughs> keep it pure as soon as the camera goes off all right we got one more to go this is going to be tough to beat competitors right next to each other seems to be a thing on Madega bay all right chatter number five it's spud point crab co voted best clam chowder apparently we'll see about that all right spud point crab co chowder number five a last stop do the honors okay looks creamy looks very creamy Again, not as many vegetables as our first few. 
similar to the one next door. It smells super good. Ooh. It looks creamy. It tastes very creamy. <laughs> looks hot. It's good. Mm. Very good. <laughs> the clam flavor is pretty strong in this one, I think. Stronger than the one we just grabbed. Mm. It's very garlicky. Yes, very garlicky. That's true. So good. I'm not good at picking out those flavors, but yeah, very garlicky. Super, super good. I like it. Might be my favorite. Mm. Mm. It's good. Very good. My only, com my only complaint is the spoon. What's wrong with the spoon? It's not. It's a spoon. It's not perfect for soup. <laughs> it's like when you take like a spoonful, it drips everywhere. It's not deep enough. It's not a soup spoon. Okay. I am officially chowdered out. Um, so, let's uh, let's recap and, and we'll give you our opinions here. Let's start with least favorite. What was your least favorite of the day? My least favorite would be the boathouse, which is a third stop. Stop number three. Why was it your least favorite? Um, it's a little too runny for me. The taste is just like any, you know, vegetable soup you can find out there. Um, it's missing like the chowder flavor. Okay. Uh, yeah. That was not my least favorite. Uh, I actually kind of liked that one. It was a bit on the lighter side. Uh, so if you don't like real creamy rich, you might prefer that one potentially. Um, okay. My least favorite was stop number two, which was Fishitarians. And that one had kind of a weird herb flavor to it that I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, and we never could quite figure out what the flavor was, but whatever it was, was That's not really, my yeah. favorite. It, it didn't really fit into the flavor. Yeah, it was definitely different. Like, it had a, a, a uniqueness to it that certainly none of these other ones have had. Uh, it just wasn't for me. Um, so, yeah. So, let's talk about our favorite chowders. Which one was your favorite? My favorite would be the last one, which was... Spud Point. Spud Point. Crab Co. Uh, what was your favorite? Think about it. The garlic flavor, how the, the garlic flavor is really like pronounced in that soup, which is my favorite. Well, garlic is my favorite, so it's like it stood out the most because of the garlic flavor, really, really, really like there. Yeah, I would say Spud Crab Co. was my second favorite. Um, I'm not as big of a garlic fanatic as you are. But I really like the texture of their chowder. Very creamy. Uh, and it also was a bit more clammy than I would say some of the other ones are. So if you like that clam seafood flavor, I think theirs was the most pronounced. And so my favorite was stop number four, Fisherman's Cove. Uh, they had a cheesiness to theirs. It was silky smooth. Uh, just really liked everything about it. Um, and I should also mention, it was the cheapest of the bunch. So, it's got that going for it as well. I think overall, so we went to five spots. Three of the spots were along Highway 1, kind of the main strip of Bodega Bay. And all... Okay. All the chowders we had today were good. 
But those three were just clearly not as good as the last two, which were a little bit off the beaten path, so to speak. You kind of have to, you know, make a couple turns to get to those, and then they're right next to each other. But I think if you're coming to Bodega Bay, it's worth heading that direction and trying them out. Uh, they were really, really good. Anything else you want to say? Um, I think, yeah, like all five chowders that we had today, they're really good in their own way. They're very unique, um, which I think it's a good sign. It means that they just don't, you know, they don't order the clam chowder from like a bag or anything like that from the same distribution or distributor or whatever. Um, yeah, which is a good thing. So you know their chowders are freshly made with their own recipe. That's that's my my, my point because they all have their they're all different. Different, yeah. They all, they all, they have their own uniqueness um, to their chowder. So yeah, I guess it, back to your preference, I guess. Yeah, uh, and I, I guess it should be stated the first place we went to was more of a sit down restaurant. Mm -hmm. So if you're wanting more of a sit down, grab a cocktail. You get the complimentary bread. Um, that's where you'll get that. The other four places were a counter that you walk up to and you order. So, and you can eat. You can eat at all of the places, obviously, but uh, they also cater more to takeout style. So yeah, that was our clam chowder chow down or clam chowder clash. <laughs> Uh, we hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoy your clam chowder. Yeah, and we'll be sweating chowder for the next week or so. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> only just for you. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you on our next video. Bye. Bye. So Andy is a copycat of the way I dress today. Okay, you got the Patagonia sweater. Guys, Berkies, I got my Berkies. And my... <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Copycat. Nuh-uh. You copy me. I showered first. <laughs>